So we're out today with, with Ian from New City Lions and spreading slurry. So I suppose you're starting off anyway with your new Abbey Tank. How's it going so far? Oh, very well so far. Um, it's excellent conditions for spreading slurry this time of year and it seems to be doing a great job. Yeah, and I suppose that's a big tank. Yeah, it's 3,000. The one we previously had was two and a half, but I know you have a trail and shoe which adds ex extra weight to it. But we went with um, 710 tyres. So they're very um, white tyres and the tractor actually has 800s on it at the moment which used for sewing but we had them on the tractor so we, we used them so there's a good bit of rubber underneath it. Yeah, it kind of spreads the weight of it and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I suppose you're using then our GFX 750 and on autopilot. Um, I suppose how, how are you finding that so far? You use that across a lot of functions on the farm. Yeah, I didn't think the auto steer would <laughs> never really thought about it for slurry spread but it's actually um, it's very convenient uh, it just leaves you don't have to be thinking about much when you're driving down the field yeah um, and you can which I'm doing at the moment you can skip every um, you can skip every second run if you want it so if you just didn't want to turn too sharp on the headland and after engaging the steering there now and instead of picking this run here so it leaves you can skip that run and do it the next time. It leaves you don't have to be um, turning as tight in the headland. Yeah. This is the vacuum tanker, vacuum tank controls. Um, it's the very same controls that you get if you just bought an Abbey tanker. So up here is your flow rate. This is the target rate you want, and this is what it's putting out at the moment. Um, the volume in the tank, your macerator is on um, all of there. And this is your tanker and actually a volume symbol there. So if I go faster or slower, it's just uh, it's just a rate to get as close as I can to the 33,000 liters a hectare, which is um, 3,000 gallons uh, an acre. And this is your flow rate per minute. So around 17, 1800 is kind of the max that can come out of it. So you, you kind of go fast enough to get up there there and you're spreading the max rate kind of. And I suppose the whole thing, the main thing at the moment as well is the price of fertiliser, people want to make the best use of this slurry. Well, we're putting out what we want to put, which is to start, like you're going to have exactly 3,000 gallons across this field. And if you, if you came down here with a splash plate on a bit of a windy day, um, you could end up with a lot more because you could be spreading two metres less than you, you used to. So but now what you're supposed to plow, um, you're also, you know what you plow, which are records, and this field is in red clover and it'll get no artificial nitrogen for the year, so the trail and dew is going to come into its own when we're putting slurry out in dry weather during the summer after cut silage, so we should get better um, nitrogen response from the slurry. Yeah. And if it's not put out, um, the grass comes back um, this cut four times a year the grass comes back very quick after if you have a splash plate and you don't get it out quick after you harvest um, there'll be slurry on the leaf so with the uh, trail and shoe it'll give you that bigger window to put slurry out after you harvest yeah and you can say on fields that you're grazing here say with the dairy side the grass comes back way quicker with the trail and shoe as well that's the idea we didn't do any of it yet with the uh, grazing cows but You'd expect nine or ten days you could be back in with cows grazing. Yeah. And even this field here, like we had sheep on it, and the idea was that the graze, well, what we would have previously done, the sheep would have grazed it well, and then we would have spread slurry on it. But I actually just told them to take the sheep off it. It's not fully grazed, but you can put them back on it in two weeks' time and graze it off better if you want. You know, your your mindset on the system changes. You know. Yeah. I suppose the the whole thing as well is proof of placement and all that kind of stuff. So I suppose you're using the software, so everything's kind of being tracked, and you can track how well your field's performing and stuff like that as well. Yeah, this I was saying previously, the auto steer is very handy for driving, but the whole benefit of this system is the records. Um, everything is recorded instantly without a pen paper and it's um, sent back to the computer and it's it's up to date accurate and it's very
very easy to use and you can get some serious um, reports out of it and serious information. Yeah. So Ian, I suppose, look, obviously today you're using the guidance system for spreading slurry, which you'd use it obviously with your fertilizer and spraying and stuff like that as well. Yeah, we have three uh, Isopus uh, equipment on the farm so far. We have the fertilizer spreader, an Amazon fertilizer spreader, an Amazon um, tra or mounted sprayer and the uh, Abbey. But it's, if you keep going, like uh, I'd say every machine you buy from now on will be Isopus ready. So it, um, it will leave the GPS use more, but even the even a simple job like rolling, You'd use auto steer and you'd use the GPS. Yeah. And I've done it with rolling that um, you'd use the GPS and skip every second run so you wouldn't be turning tight on the headlands. And it's all I suppose is man, you don't have to concentrate as much so you're not as tired. Yeah, it would like um, it would leave you less fatigue when you're don't have to concentrate on a how far you're keeping away from the next run and if you're doing a feel at an angle or anything, you never have any short ground. It does um it does save time. Like you use the auto steer discing and you're discing a stubble feel at an angle and you're always more inclined to go back straight like where the previous runs are done, but with the auto steer you you'll never have a sharp bit of ground. Yeah.